Hello everybody, welcome back to Nature World. Today we are doing a how to video again. I'm going to know how to build a church with a graveyard. And yeah, let's get right into this. So, first thing you're going to need is some cobblestone wool and some cobblestone. So, where is it? There you go, that's the cobblestone. Nope, wrong one. There you go. So, yeah, you're going to need cobblestone and cobblestone wool for now. And add the cobblestone wool in every single corner of the church. That's a very important technique. I make this seven blocks that long so yeah make it seven like that so yeah and then break a hole in the middle because that's where the door is going to be to get into the church make these cores and move three high um, for now and then you can do it more later so this is ten blocks so it's far it's seven by ten this church is not it's not massively big the church isn't but it's decent size so, yeah, so here's how like the church is going to look now we're going to have an extra bit on the side here as you can see so, yeah, so you can see how it's going like, to there. I'm going to build away from them too because we don't make it so close. So yeah, and then we're going to put the cobblestone in the corners like um, we've done so far. Add them in the corners as well. And then, you know, just break this. Not break, don't break though. I messed up there. Sorry about that. As, as you guys can tell, I am doing a voiceover again like I told you in the previous video. So yeah, so then after that I did um, the cobblestone walls at the top. Doing the cobblestone walls are very important. So yeah. And then um, just place this and make it and then as you can see I made it go outwards more like that And then I got some cobblestone stairs and cobblestone slabs if I can remember and then I placed my uh, it's like an archway entrance I guess you can say so yeah, and I messed up a lot in this tutorial video And I was like I had to think about a lot of stuff I was gonna do because I kind of forgot because I I may have tried before but like a long time ago so yeah, so um the main design itself is very simple, but it just takes a long time to make, and that's all. So, yeah, so this is how long it's going to be. So, I'll be right back in one minute. So, yeah, one second. And I am back. So, yeah, as you can see, the walls are filled in and everything. So, yeah, and you know, so now, as you see, the walls are filled in. What I did after this, when I was making it, I actually added some wood because wood is uh, important to add. So, yeah, wood's very nice to add as well. So yeah, um, so what I did was just go around the whole thing and make it really high up. So yeah, but um, I showed me going around it because I was a doofus and I didn't just like skip until I actually made it. This dude took about like an hour to make this church did. So like for the video, it, only, it looks like it takes a few minutes, but like in reality, it takes a few hours. So, yeah. So um, but I like, don't do it in the corner parts there because then it just looks stupid. So like add a stairs or like a slab there. So yeah, it's best thing to do. So yeah, so grab some. So then, what I did then was I grabbed some glass. So yeah, I was thinking about glass panes, but I decided to use actual glass blocks because they help. And use red, um, blue, yellow, and um, green. They are the best blocks in my opinion. So yeah, and like make like a um, how do you say like a windows kind of pattern, like you know, you know windows. Yeah, make something like that. You can see there. See. But of course, I did. I actually changed it because I realized it wasn't centered. So what I did, I did this. So I broke that. Changed that and I kept it as this, so I liked it. So, yeah, so um, but um, like it's like a circle, like a colored circle in the mid middle of the church. That was my um plan, and that's what I did. So, I can see I made the walls um, not all the way around. I don't think I can't remember though. I did make so I made the walls all the way around, and this church gets really big eventually. So, uh, I made the walls all the way around it, as you can see right here. And then after I did that, then I added the um glass the um the slabs for the glass so yeah so as i was looking around and i was like okay so i want to add the um stairs so i use um oak stairs slabs and uh, what's it called again uh, trapdoors so yeah i used them three things so yeah it was very hard making this typ typical design yeah, I, my first plan was to do this, but I decided not to do it. And the actual better thing to do is to use stairs and then um, trap doors behind them. That's the best thing to do. So yeah, but instead of doing it there, what I did, put it there backwards, like on the glass, and then place trap doors on them. But don't keep them trap doors there, put on them. Just so, I just had to so make another trap door like, above it. So yeah, that way you can do this. Just do that and break them too. And then you got that. So yeah, and the exact same. But uh, I messed up. I messed up again. I told you I messed up a lot in this build one. Uh, so yeah, and then add this part here. So yeah, as you can see, what I am doing right and now. Well, not me, but the right now. And what I did do then. 
I guess you can say. So yeah, and then add this up here and make it too thick. I didn't do that in the very beginning. And then I realized make it too thick. That's the best way to do it. And it's like if this is a circle. This is the easiest way to make a smaller circle. It, well, it's actually a way to make it smaller, but like you know, to make it look good. This is you know the easiest way to make a circle. So yeah, and then add um that. But because I I was just too square, add it underneath it one, and that makes it into a poor circle. And you can see I changed it like that. So yeah, that makes it into a poor circle. That's what that's what a circle looks like. And then just add more like glass, bibbly bob the base around everywhere you know so yeah just add green and all that stuff around the place and then it works really well so yeah you can see what I did there and now what you want to do is just fill in the walls all across here just fill all the walls in because that's like the way to make the whole entire building and I will use wood wood and cobblestone are the best type of blocks to use for a um, church in my opinion at least but yeah just fill in all the walls as you can see I am doing right now but not me you know what I mean yeah, and make it go pretty high up, not too high up, but make it go like a few blocks above, you know, the thing. So and here's how we do the um the um you know roof. So add a stairs and then add a block and then put some stairs on top of that block. Make the block go in one more and then add stairs on top of that block. Then add another stairs, but the big that block on this place there, and then it's just like this. So it's um very simple actually, but very you know easy and simple. That's literally it easy and simple so add this to both of the things and then after you do that then you're gonna need some slabs but luckily I already have them so yeah so then add some slabs above here like that for both of them and then add some like stairs in the middle because, like, you know how church has a pointy top that's what you're gonna do as well so add this here and then add some fences above that I don't do it straight away I like just then, as you can see now, I do it, and then add, add some fences there, and that gives it the point that it needed. You see, so yeah, then just fit in that middle part right there, and then you might be thinking, why didn't do the window there? Because it like most churches have windows, and I didn't do it at this point, but add like a hole in it. I'll show you how I made the hole um, later in the video I do, but like add a hole in the middle of it because churches have holes there. So yeah. And then add a um, divider so you can see where the window is and the roof is. See, so yeah, I did this, but it, if you want it not, not to blend in, you use a different block. So I use it for spruce slabs because that that makes it so it doesn't look like a divider. So, yeah, so, so here's what we got so far. So now we're going to work on this thing, the whole thing in. So, yeah, so I'll be back once I do the whole table. So, yeah, on second, I'll be right back. And I am back. So as you can see, I just finished the uh, walls. I uh, no, um, uh, yeah, I just made the walls there. And see, and I add this spruce thing here. I don't know why I did that, but I did. And this circle part I told you about in the previous thing, that's very easy to make. It's just um some slabs. Um, I actually show you in the video how to make it. So that's literally it. That's for both sides. And it's like the smallest way to make it. I made a bit bigger than that, but that's the smallest way to make it. So yeah, and then it works like this. As you can see right now. So now what we're gonna do. Is you see we take this glass. I'm gonna add some windows. I do. I do around the place. So each church, in my opinion, has the back of a massive, like really big window there. So that's why I added here. As you can see, it's very tall. I remember for, like a Jesus statue. So the yellow is like the sides, and like the um Jesus person was the green and the um blue and red like head for Jesus. I guess I don't know why I did that, but I did it and I liked it. So yeah. And there you go, that was like my head, that was my Jesus, I guess. So yeah, and then I went back to the back and used um, some stairs, make it look like, kind of like a circle. Not too much like a circle. It didn't look too much like a circle. Then I changed that to cobblestone, but yes, yeah, so um, my vision I was doing was wood, but I changed cobblestone and the wood looks better. So yeah, so add that, add the little windows around the place. So just take the, so then I could copy and pick a block, the blocks. And then I went around, around the sides, and I um, basically broke a hole, and then just did this. And like, all the windows are similar to the massive one there, because in churches there's like massive coloured windows. It actually costs re a lot of the, a lot just to get like one piece. It's very very surprising. I, I did some research, and it's really shocked me how much it costs. Best design we went for. So yeah, and I just, I just realized now there's an L there. I actually just realized. So yeah. So add the um this, 
and just add windows around the whole entire place and then after that um, I add a graveyard I think and then I add uh, some designs but like on the next clip that we have for this video it's just like decoration but like what we have so far is basically the, the whole entire church like the shell of it so like if you want to shell the church use this and then you can decorate however you want but if you want to actually see how I decorated it then you can keep watching if you want to so that's, what, that's what we got to the church so far so when I use for like smaller windows, I use blue and green, I just had to find it. I use blue and green uh, because I like them too, and I think them two work really well together. So yeah, just do this, break a hole, and then do that. And then place that, like I did just there. And yeah, you can make a different colors if you want. I personally think blue and green is the best to use, but you know, you can choose whatever colors you want, but stick within the yellow, red, and blue. Stick with them too, because them two are the best colors to use for church, okay? So use them, okay? Now this one's a bit bigger, so what I did was a checkered pattern, like there, as you can see. I did that, and then just do that, and that's where I space clear around the whole entire build. Just add tons and tons of windows. So yeah, as you see, I finished all the windows that I need to add for the build. So yeah, and then what we want to do is work on the graveyard. So what I did was then after I did that, I saw that there was like nothing there. So add a graveyard to your builds. Now you can have a closed graveyard or an open gra graveyard. I made mine closed, but you can't use it open just by not having the walls. But personally, I think the opened one was better so yeah i actually got really annoyed from this weather but see so there you go if you guys can see there you go that must have helped you so yeah so um that's like an open that's why it's like technically a lot of builders use it's so annoying placing like iron bars it's like so fid fid fiddly and like, so clunky in my opinion so yeah like, look how long it took, took me just to make these iron bars it took me like, a few seconds to place them and like normally it takes take a few seconds to place like a wall or something in minecraft and it's gonna be a few seconds just to place some iron bars like look how much i missed placed everything so and then add some after that i mean so i went a bit sidetracked there so then add a wall and do like a, a very cool pattern like a line pattern basically where you have cobblestone walls and then it's like cobblestone cobblestone wall cobblestone cobblestone wall and do that and it really like you know see like there so, so um i'll be right back after i make this church then after i do that then not the church i mean the you know the graveyard then i'll work on the details so, so i work in one minute i'm just gonna work on the on this graveyard so yeah and i am back so as you can see i finished the graveyard and now i've got the church they have to do woo oh and you know the inside of the graveyard but anyway so i use this terracotta terracotta i mean terracotta to um add more details because it's very plain so far so add terracotta for more um details and uh, add, don't add too much don't overdo it or else it just looks stupid like that one i only did two pieces like one up here and uh, like i can see i don't do too many pieces but i do um, you know a bit of it but i don't do too many because if you do too many it looks kind of ugly i guess you can say it looks kind of ugly so yeah and at uh, the front i didn't have to add that many because the front was probably the most decorated part out of the whole entire build because you know that's always the most decorated part of any build the front so you know so yeah and you see i add um, not too many but like that one i didn't have to add barely any and then what i did was for the um sides i decided to add stone um bricks because that really helps like you know for like, the build add stone bricks on the sides that's what the bit was missing stone bricks and then when you see that looks a lot better with stone bricks so let's add that around the whole entire build and then that just makes the thing look um 10 times better now as you see it looks better now this part was a bit tricky um it's like in between parts now i didn't add this and did both sides but i didn't do it too high up because if you do it too high up there won't be a corner anymore it just looks stupid so make it go make them always go up to the same height you see make them always go up to the same height because then it just it doesn't work as well but it still works but it doesn't as well and it's kind of ugly like a massive weird thing going in the middle so yeah and like these all are te technical supports for the builds 
bike, you know, it's also like other stuff, so, you know, it like works in both ways. So, yeah, it's really cool, um, design. So, yeah, and then what we want to add is, after I did this, it's just adding the final details, is you see like this, um, Opa, get some, um, s um, what's it called again, what's it called again, uh, stone brick, I think it is, stone brick, and stone brick slabs, and, um, brick, and basically add like a, like, a extra hang to this with the stone brick, and that adds a lot. I just, there was one thing I was missing here that I eventually added was a um like a cross because everyone knows every church has that and you put put a scream at me like oh where's the cross though where's the cross yeah I did end up adding the cross it just took me, took me some time to realize that oh wait there's no cross so yeah so just keep doing what I'm doing as you can see right here and then it just turns out really great so yeah. Uh, I'm almost like done with this part, and then we can add the cross, and then the um, graveyards themselves, because we have to have graveyards, and all that other um, good stuff. So yeah, how much time we have left? 16 minutes in. Okay, that's a lot of time. So yeah, so here's what we got so far. So here's where I added the um, the cross part. So I used cobblestone. Uh, we I should have used stone brick, but I thought cobblestone was cooler. So yeah, I act. I, I realized I made that like it looked like, look like a devil sign. I quickly fixed it <laughs> after I realized that. But see that I made the whole entire church. Every church has that. If you don't have that on your church, right to it, then it's not a church. It's, it's, it's not. It's, it's not a church. So that's why. That's what I'm gonna say. It's not a church. So yeah, making graves are probably the hardest because you could do a like, different design and all that stuff. So graves are very hard to do. But when you get like you know knowing how to make them, then it's not that hard. It's really actually easy. Really actually, yeah, that's why. Really um easy. So, so yeah, just like go for random designs. I can see I was like fitting in a little bit, and then I thought like of some really good designs. So that's the design for the, for this build, and then just like do different graves. Some graves more than others, as you can see. Like this grave is more than the other grave. And then this one's like too big for because like, when like uh, a couple get married together, they make a grave like this. Uh, of course, I know about this stuff because I'm a genius. And then, <laughs> and then add this, and like this, but this one's probably the biggest one, like not the biggest one, but you know, like the slimmest but tallest one out of them all, apart from one of them, which is like humongous. So, yeah, because um, people sometimes the more for some reason for, for the more rich you are, the better grave you get. I don't know why. I think it's quite stupid, but apparently that's what it's like. So yeah. So I add some mycelium. I think that's what it's called in Minecraft. I'm not too sure. That's really good for graveyards. I can do the whole entire floor if you want, but I personally think doing what I'm doing, just like massively like spam clicking it, like breaking the ground and just placing them, that really works. As you can see right there. So yeah, so that is the whole entire church basically done. So I'm yeah, um, last thing as it's path. So as I'm doing this path, I'm gonna have my intro. So um, it's path just mess, just like the um, I will really just go crazy with it, and then you're done the path. So yeah, so there you guys the path. So I hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment below if you want to see another video like this, and hit down the notification bell. So yeah, um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.